Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day three of Off the Board with Pineapple Papers where Crystal and I and lots of our scrappy friends are getting those pins off the board and used as inspiration for our project. So as every day I will have everyone who is playing along today linked down below and I am actually using a pin today that I took from one of Crystal's board uh, boards from her quilting inspiration board. And it's fun because she actually used this pin on the off the board that we did for the month of June, uh, the month of June, the last Wednesday in the month of June, she used this pin and I texted her and I said, hey, I chose that one for, um, July for early on in July. So this is fun. So let's see what I did. So ooh, this is quite bold and bright and very, very different for me. But when I saw this, the idea I got was definitely to use the triangles and sort of a little bit of the different sizes of triangles. My original idea was to do it in the ombre that it was on the pin, but somehow when I actually started doing it and I chose the photo, um, it went differently and I definitely wanted to do this kind um, of pattern where it sort of just led you all the way around uh, the entire page. And I love this. I love this. I had so much fun doing this. And I just love the outcome. It makes me smile. And I'm, I I wanted to use this fun photo of baby Diego um, because at the end of April, Gwen posted this on Facebook um, and she said, Diego finally has a little hair because he, he did not actually for, for quite, quite, quite a few months. And he looks so adorable there. So I wanted to get this photo on a page. I wanted to make it fun and bright and bold. There's red, there's yellow, and there is orange in the picture. So I thought, what better way? And I had these papers um, in my little paper tower there. Uh, and they are polka dots. So I thought that was fun as well. So I started with uh, my white cardstock on the background. And I just used three different shimmers mist um i used no yoking um mango mai tai i believe and then scarlet slippers um actually let me go get them so i can tell you exactly what i used and so that i do it properly since they are still on my desk so yes so no yoking is the first one that i used Mango Tango for the orange color and then Scarlet's Fever for the red. But once it got on together with the yellow and the orange, it was a very muted and I really just loved the effect. So I started by putting the yellow, then I went in with the Mango Tango, finished with a touch of Scarlet Fever and then I actually went back and added a little more yellow. So I love my background and then really it was quite quite simple in that I just did squares. I did two and a half inches, two inches and one and a half inch squares. And then I cut them on the diagonal to make my triangle and then I just arranged them to look a little bit like they do in this lovely quilt pin all the way around. Then I looked at this and I thought, you know, it's beautiful and it's fun and it's bold, but it needs pop. So I thought of Christina and I said, it needs black. So I just did, these are just one inch squares that I cut in two and I added to the end. Uh, and these are one and a quarter, I think, just a little bit larger that I added to the end. And something I've been doing 
uh, quite a bit recently based on a video that I saw from Sarah Scraps is to make a photo pop, do a very, very thin border, large border, and another very, very thin border. So I brought the black in here for the very thin border. The red, which is the A side or the B side to this polka dot here because red is probably the prominent color in the photo and I thought it would make it pop more. Put that up on foam. And then I got some lovely sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Just dotted some black sequins around and then I felt that the page popped. I have this camera, this camera comes from some packaging from uh, Scrap and Happy Studio. I cut out the camera and I just used some letters here on the top, hair, with an exclamation mark and a few little, two little yellow hearts and an enamel dot. And that's it. And I just put down here, 27 April, 2020, posted on Facebook. Diego finally has a little hair, which is what Gwen posted. And if she wants to add anything more, she can do that when um, I give her the album. So that is my day three. Once again, it is a pin from Crystal's board. And I just love it. So make sure you pop on down below. And of course, over onto Crystal's channel and to everybody else who is playing along today. And I will see you tomorrow where we have a pin and I am combining it with the Scrap 5 Challenge. See you tomorrow. Bye.